you know, if it wasn't for the toxic as all hell cloud, the horde of abominations living under the streets, uh, the fact that I have a high explosive strapped around my neck, and also the phantom bell that keeps tolling every five seconds, this place would actually be a pretty nice vacation destination. Ah oh well, hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time we got Doll God and Christine to their respective uh, locations to start up the gala event. We made our way up to the bell tower in Salida del Sol, was it? Yeah, Salida del Sol. And we got the last of the um, <clears throat> the mod mods for the weapons in the DLC. I still need to get the focusing lens for the uh, hollow rifle at a vending machine, which shouldn't be too far away. I think there's like one back at the very start of this like section of Salida. And also, we... What did we do? Oh yeah, we got the snow globe! If I can just pull it up real quick, just because I, I want to gloat the fact that this thing eluded me for so long, but now I finally got it, and I could just say, ha 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 ha, you're mine now forever. Oh, wait. Oh no, wait, I can't say that, because it's back in the Lucky 38. Apparently, I got a pocket dimension in my back pocket, and... It just teleported its way there. But it makes sense why I'm able to carry so much weight around. Anyways, today we're going to be activating the gala event and we're going to finally make our way into the Sierra Madre and hopefully we can, you know, finally end this score. Now, one thing I wanted to point out before <clears throat> we uh, start the gala event. And you can see we're pretty high up and you can obviously see, like, the border wall. You can see, like, the clouds trying to do its best to mask like the fact that this area it's kind of small and so you can see like the no man's land a little bit it's kind of hard to see from like the two open windows and of course they obviously put boards over here in strategic bleh, strategic locations to obscure it it but if you crouch down over here you can actually see the no man's land and just see that the cloud is just a 2d effect that they just put in to try and do its best to mask it uh, something I found right before I started recording and just thought it'd be something like nice to show off <clears throat> But anyways time to start the gala event, and I got a question for everyone. Are you a fan of Left 4 Dead? Can you hear me? Damn transceivers. Let me link the callers to the speaker in the tower then yeah, There. You're tapping on the speaker series of sharp taps then slow tap Christine we're almost ready up here a single tap comes for the speaker ready. The both of us. I'll keep Dog locked in his cage. You just open the Sierra Madre. What are you waiting for? Rub up the gym? Strike up the band already. Careful what you do. do. You think the villain's bad now? You haven't seen anything yet. Oh, trust me. Alright, let's do this. On the count of three. Three, two, one. I said it backwards. Finally! Now, the gates will open, and so will the skies. Oh no! Copyrighted music! Also, the bodies disappeared! So, remember what I was saying about Left 4 Dead? And how there's significant points where you do, like... Oh god! Uh, man, that guy's got an arm on him! Oh god! Uh, you know how you do, like, significant events that have to like you know progress through the level and doing so summons the horde well what we just did we summoned the horde and these hordes have spears and bear traps and these guys got good arms so before you head down into the waiting mass of murder below it's best to arm yourself up uh, have the best weapon you got on you equipped which is why I got the uh, uh, the the bar and I'm also dressed up in the security suit because it's just got the best damage threshold so let's head into this I hope you're ready let's activate the bear trap again the the fiend yeah these the ghost harvesters and the ghost people trappers uh, what the hell is he doing is he be like being pulled by a string or something yeah, uh, they're out in force, and they're out for blood. And I got the abominable perk, nice. Um, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually a really intense moment and a 
pretty challenging one if you're blowing through ammo on these guys saying you don't conserve a little bit it'll be kind of hard because these guys like to group up on you and also like to ambush you thankfully I got a couple of armor piercing rounds because I only got 10 bullets left in this clip yeah run run runs definitely the word you need thing that you need to do I don't believe I think they hound you throughout the entire time until you get into the casino but it's like really prevalent right here. Yeah, I'm just gonna give those two guys the slip. Don't mind me. Uh oh. Of course, of all times. Ooh, what? Oh. Damn it, I forgot. Okay, his head just randomly exploded. I keep forgetting that this isn't Fallout 4 and you can't bash people with a gun that you have. Well, going down there is no go. Thankfully, we got a vending machine. Let's grab the last um, mod, the focusing optics. No, I do not want 10 of those things. If I could shove 10 focusing optics that ups the damage of the hollow rifle each time, then hell yeah, I'd be getting more of it. But sadly, you can only equip one mod. So, for the last time in the DLC, it's time for us to apply a brand new mod. And now it's time for us to get the hell out of here. And hopefully copyright does not hit me the way YouTube is been going nowadays. I wouldn't be surprised. So yeah, it looks like these guys do actually hound you the entire way back to the casino. I think we need to get back to like the main villa area. Ow. I hate bear traps. I'd rather take my chances with landmines. At least landmines give you a little bit of a warning before they go off. Alright, uh, so far so clear. Oh, I had to open my mouth. I had to open my mouth. Uh-oh. Oop. Come on. Come on. Show your pretty face. Of course, you show it now when I'm not ready. Take this heavy-duty spring! Ow. Where'd you go? There you are. Come on. Let me... Hey, I just gained the tough guy perk. Ow, my arm. Alright, you know what? Psycho it is. Take a couple of stim packs. Now we can deal with him. There we go. And I think I just got another uh, challenge completed. Oh shit! And I forgot that there's a radio here, or a th you know, you know what I mean. Yeah, radio. I really like flub it on it a little bit. Also, where is the way in there? It's probably down there, and I know there's probably a radio down, radio down there. Ow, my leg! Don't you do your footloose attack at me? I'm just gonna teleport to your side. Ah, shit. I'll take your fist just so I can heal myself. Backing up. Great. I'm stuck between a rock and a radio place. Where exactly do I need to go? Do I need... Yeah, I just need to get over there. Hopefully I'm going the right way. Um, let's try the local map. Although I doubt it's going to do me any good. Um, yeah, it's about as useless as I thought it would be. Uh, you know what? Bust out the heavy artillery. Can I beat them with a pool cue? Break it over the back. Oh man, they are everywhere. Oh god. Um, I I see you're trying to do your best, Batman. Wee. And 
pelvic thrust. Almost there. I think we need to get back to. Uh, yeah, we need to get back to the main, like, fountain area and then go through the gate up there. That will lead straight to the casino. And I went the wrong way. Thankfully, I don't have to, you know, lead God on the leash and have him get clipped up there again. It was ridiculous last time. Oh, God. You know what else is ridiculous? Bear traps. Bear traps are ridiculous. Uh, but uh, apparently it was just uh, that one section that was called Ghost People. It is literally a ghost town now. This is the kind of ghost that I would like to keep. Poor skeleton. I might as well heal once just so we are going in fast and heavy. I might have spoken too soon. Was that, was that always swinging like that? No, it wasn't. Because he wasn't always there. And I just ran out of ammo for my heavy machine gun. Great. Well, not heavy machine gun. The automatic rifle. I, I had this, like... There's like several things of machine guns in this game. Which one is this one specifically? No, oh, pre-war hat. You know what? If I'm going in, I'm going in all fancy. Also, some bobby pins. I almost missed that. I don't like that red thing moving around. Oh, what do we have here? Junk food? Water. Yeah, that's a terrible combination. Saved it. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ah, figures. Oh, of course. Now that we activated the gala and the music plays. Guess what's also activated? That's right, the speakers in the villa area. And these ones are shielded. Uh, can you hold on just a second? Uh, I'll bite you in just a second. Eh, chomp. Alright, time to make a run for it. Oh, it wasn't that bad. It could have been worse. But it also could have been better. And by better, I do not mean having to deal with another one of these guys. I'm getting lucky with those, uh, those non-dismemberment uh, kills, apparently. Nope. I don't think so. Oh god. Why? And Dr. Elijah? Of course not. Alright, let's get into the casino before any more madness happens. But before we do that, chips. I need my chips! All right, let's get out of here. Gala is the only way in. This gate leads directly to the Sierra Madre Casino. Once inside, you may not be able to return to the villa. Do you wish to proceed? Yes, I do. Oh, wait, I have to walk through the cloud again. Damn it. Oh, God. Why is everyone sleeping? We just got in insane. Uh, two times in one adventure? 
tired of getting gassed. Eh, it's not creepy. You inside. Can you hear me? Power's fluctuating, emergency power. Oh, you are in. Good. But that might be the end of you. Unfortunately, your friends also found their way here. Knocked unconscious, just like you. Wondering what happened? You were hit by casino security. Detects anything far, radioactive. It subdues the visitor, moves them if needed. Hmm. Getting interference from old recordings. The guests who were trapped here, shut that noise off. Looks like the casino moved your friends around once inside. Might be useful, or not. Wonder if they came to help or kill you. Still. My signal should work through the speakers now that you're inside. <laughs> Welcome to the Sierra Madre in all its glory. This is what the old world stood for, even with bombs about to rain down on them. Now, look at it. Beautiful now its guests are all dead. Better this way. Quiet. How the Mojave should be. Now, with the casino sleeping, it's got places closed off. Won't let you go yet. We'll get there. Trust me. Just need to wake it up. Great. Then how do I do that, huh? You're not going to tell me? Eh, figures. But he is right. This place actually looks... Pretty nice. It's probably the nicest looking place we've been to in the entire adventure. Lots of stuff over here. Average lock. There we go. And... Yeah, just some chips. But, guess what? Now that we've made our way in here... This becomes... A stealth adventure. That's right. Throughout our adventures inside the casino, there are security holograms. You've seen a couple of them. It was like the ones that we had to summon to protect Dean while so we could get to his spot and all that stuff. Yeah, these things are now enemies. And they are a pain in the ass to fight. Mostly because you can't fight them. They actually do have a patrol pattern, which and there's a way to actually deactivate them because there's like a... Uh, like a... Okay, there. Uh, there's like a emitter thing. Ugh. Oh, that was just junk on the ground. I thought that was blood. Um, so there's a way to deal with them. You can, like, change the search patterns and all that stuff. But you can't kill them. You can't shoot at them. Office to... I don't have a key to get into the office. Um, so this is where we pretty much have to avoid them. And... Uh, if you know Fallout's uh, in terms of stealth mechanics, yep, see, there's one of them right now. I don't think he's l looking at me, or maybe he's, I'm out of, like, his sight range. But these things... This is the past you're walking through. Few have ever seen it. No one else ever will. I worked hard to get here. It'll give me what I need before I leave. And they'll always welcome me back. Now, look for a way to wake this ghost up. Remind it, it's got guests. Hmm. Well, maybe this really obvious terminal right here will do just the job. Intercom is to have failed over time. It will only allow one-way communication through another intercom. Hologram controls. Let's see. Check the security hologram status. Uh, garden the bar stairs. Set be April to the casino floor west patrol. Security memo. Sierra Madre employees, at the request of Mr. Sinclair, please refrain from tampering with or destroying the security hologram emitters. Remember, the holograms keep us and our guests safe. Kind of ironic, uh, due to the fact that the holograms here were the thing that pretty much killed all the guests inside the casino when the bombs went off. Basically, what happened was when the bombs went off, uh, it put the casino into lockdown because it was supposed to also be like a, a shelter from the whole, you know, nuclear apocalypse that was pending. 
So, once it went off, security was activated, and it pretty much slaughtered all the guests inside the casino, which is what, why all the skeletons are here. But as you can see right here is one of the emitters that if we can get our way over there, we can... Oh, God. Hate radios! I have no idea where it would be. So, let's, uh, let's, let's ninja our way over here. Oh, oh God. The hell was that? Did he use the force to move me? Ninja! Alright, the emitter controls the security holograms in this area. You may be able to disable the emitter if you have 50 or higher repair. Thankfully, we do. Now with the emitter, that security hologram is gone. There's always like one emitter for each hologram. So that was the one for that hologram. There's another one for this one. Or, I think... There's another... Oh, oof. You there! Halt! Yeah, their, their color dictates their status, so it's like, like, blue, they're fine, red, uh, obviously they're onto you and they're gonna attack you, which they basically use like a head laser thing. Um, yellow, they're, they know that you're around there, but you're out of range of their attack pattern to do anything about it. Chips! But I guess these, these things... Uh, operate by proximity and not like uh, light and all that stuff. I can actually, you know, take it a little easy. Yeah, see, I got the light on. I can't see anything. Can I play some roulette? The Sierra Madre, con blah, blah, blah. Sierra Madre Casino is currently closed. Once power is restored to the casino, it looks as if gambling will reopen as well, with hologram dealers monitoring the table of machines. And also radios. What was that? Thought like the security hologram thing was uh not the security hologram, like the hologram guy was already there. Can I do anything with this again? No, I think it was just for that one hologram, so I can't really do anything about it. There you are. Gotcha. Well, at least he went out happy. But as you saw from the, ooh, as you saw from the, what was that? Huh, whatever. Um, by the quest status, we gotta go put the beast down. Uh, we need to gain access to the casino electrical closet and restore power to the rest of Sierra Madre. And I guess you could tell who went to the electrical area first. Oh, there is actually a security guard back here. And he's coming back this way. I'll have to wait till he is uh, done patrolling and I'll head back, head across those stairs. Is he coming that far? Ooh. I think I just saw the littlest bit of him. Okay, just goes to that doorway. Whoop. Like a ninja. Emergency door to Casa Madrid. A, a random toaster. Okay. Ah, not again. All gun control. There you are! Ooh, Mark 1 auto dock. I can usually look at auto dock as a series of diodes and buttons. So, basically, like the auto dock back in the medical wing, it will heal all crippled limbs. But my limbs are fine! And before, all my limbs just like splatter onto the ground in like the cartoony fashion. All ground service protocols, all ground service protocols, service protocol, uh, perform a specific function, greeters, simple vendors. Or in the case of Sierra Madre Casino itself, even monitoring gambling tables, these service holograms follow simple routines and are incapable of performing any security function. Holograms cannot move beyond the range of their emitters and are best when used for a simple localized function. Burn green this over in the event of fire, chemical leak, nuclear attack, or other threat to the casino. The interior and exterior doors will 
hermetically sealed to prevent harm coming to the guests. During this time, holograms will be deployed and assume threat status until the lockdown is ended. Guests cannot be too careful these days, still. What if there were another leak at the switching station, not to mention the gas valves in the kitchen? If those got hit, the whole casino is a torch. And this place is just a walking disaster. Get in to the desk. There we go. We oh, have here. Ooh, what's this? Scotch. Why is? Uh, I guess it would make sense to have Scotch be in like the security thing. Is that a harmonica? Indeed, it is. Nothing else over here. A chip! A single chip! That'll really make a difference. Alright, it's turn. It has to be team! There we go. Alright, let's see. Check security, set behavior bar door guard, set behavior personal office patrol. Ooh. I I want to take a look around down here before we set the security parameters that might lock us out of this, this area. Oh god. Sick 360 there, skeleton. Alright, I can't get in there. I need a key, so we have to set the parameters. Alright, I thought there was uh, a thing I need to get into. Anything in the tool cabinet? A plunger. Well, if there's a Rayman game, it would be useful, but sadly it is not. Alright, uh, let's set let's bar door guard. I think that's the right one. Okay. How can a secure how can a hologram have a shadow? It's like light. It's emitted light. Another automatic rifle and some ammo. Nice. Security management control terminal. Why not? Beckinly. First try. All right. I had to go with the most ridiculous looking word in the whole password. Right, let's see. Sick behavior. Unlock electrical closet door. Sick behavior. Cashier counter patrol. And I leveled up from that already? Huh. I didn't think that was that close to a level up. Well, shit, we might actually hit level 40 by the time we finish th this adventure. Alright, so I decided to up barter to 95. Uh, I up melee weapons by one. I, mean, I could probably have also up sneak by one. Eh. And we'll stick with melee. And I upped unarmed for the majority of it. It went from 40, I gave it to 50. The uh, thing about the unarmed is I want to get it to at least 65. Uh, the reason behind it is there is a certain weapon in the game. It's actually a unique Mojave weapon. It's the only time you're ever going to be able to get it in the game. But you need 75 unarmed to actually get it. So I'm going to try and work my way to get it. Just, you know, to show it off and all that stuff. Plus, it's like a fan favorite weapon of the series. So, that's what I'm going to go with. There's not really a whole lot left to expand into. Guns and lockpick and science and speech already up in max. I guess I could up barter to 100, but anything is pretty much easy. Like my hat that I wear back in the main adventure has already got it up to 100. So, that's what I'm going to go with. And that's that. Ooh, a gun cabinet. Ooh, and reinforced Sierra Madre armor, and a laser pistol. And I can't get into the office, of course. Of course! No, don't sit at the desk, you idiot! Let's take a look at this reinforced armor that we got. No, well, it's... Pretty much the exact same as the regular Sierra Madre armor. The only difference is that it gives me a bit thicker shoulder pads, elbow pads, and I think knee pads. I can't tell. The light in this room is 
bad. Yeah, knee pads. So it's padded. But I'm gonna stick with my assassin suit. It looks, it just looks cooler. Oop. Anyone home? If you answer, if you want to answer me, please don't. And the reinforced helmet to go with the reinforced armor. Lovely. Security chief assistance desk. Yeah, some suit, some sunglasses. Nothing of value. Oh, we'll take the chips though. Those are always of value. We're pretty much winding down to the end of a cosmic knife. Uh, the end of the adventure. There's. We've already made it into the casino and we're pretty close to the treasure here. Not really a whole lot left to go on. It's been quite a ride. It's been a very, very intense and hard pounding ride. But a ride nonetheless. I don't see anything else I need to do here. So it looks like we're clear. So I need to reset the parameters for the hologram in here. Unless the electrical room up here. Uh, let's see, the source from make seal due to the gas leak. If you already the door's locked, you won't be able to open it from the inside until you shut down the gas off and dealt with dog. Emergency maintenance keep required. Well, can I use a milk bottle? Yeah, I'll take a tin can just so I can fix it. Where is that security hologram control? I need to back to the office. he goes and here I go and I think with that other security terminal yep he has moved over to uh, he's just patrolling over there now would like to know where that emitter is I feel like I could sneak my way back behind those doors or to the electrical gate flip the switch emitter frequencies lighting up everywhere damn recordings Dead echoes in the frequencies. Casino security is shutting down, opening up its vendor and gambling programs in the back casino. <laughs> Still might be something for sale. Maybe something can help you now security shut down. After you're done looking around, head to the lobby and we'll deal with your friends. Dick. So yeah, this entire area is actually... Um, a very much working casino. Change for your money for Sierra Madre chips. Uh, 20 chips for 20 bit bucks. Uh, 5 chips for 5 bucks. And here's a dollar. Two dollars. Three dollars! And you can turn cereal chips and points at the table before you. You set the chips down on the table, rotate squirrel. No! Other chips fire. Alright, fine. That's fine. It's all fine. There's plenty of cereal mother chips to go around, and the only thing I really need it for is, like, if I need, like, a stim pack or two. Other than that, I really don't have any reason. I already got all the mods, so... Yeah. Let's see, we need to go... Yeah, we need to go back to the lobby. You know what? Well, seeing as how the stealth and sneaking stuff is done, I might as well get out my sneaky armor and into my... battle armor. Roger the helmets. Here, actually, how do I use the weaker one to repair the better one? I would like to know where I could get... Uh, some more of that, that armor. There I go. Maybe the security holograms will now ignore me because I kind of look like them. And by looking like them, I mean I look exactly like them. Casino's woken up, paying attention to us. Good. Wondering what happened to your team? Looks like they got moved to other floors. Interesting. Maybe that's why... Perhaps the casino recognized specific guests, or guests with a voice or look close enough for them to be assigned to that floor. We'll see. Had hoped 
With the power restored, the systems would fully awaken. Especially the sound archives. But no. Your teammates' callers on each floor are interfering with the systems. It's the white noise filters embedded in their construction. They're blocking the casino speakers, the music. You'll need to recalibrate or destroy each caller. To do that, you need to get close, reset the signal, or blow their heads off. I'll leave the choice up to you. My preference? End them now. They're of no use. After all, it's safe to kill them now, provided you make it quick. You see, the callers don't work inside the Sierra Madre. Well, between floors. Else, I'd set off the callers. Be done with it. So find them, deal with them, as long as you're fast and can get off the floor after killing them. The floors, whatever they line this place with, interferes with the caller frequency. So if you kill them, you should have some time to run them. Oh, just not sure how long you may not be consistent. More or less, whatever. It, it doesn't matter. What we need is in the basement. We need to go to the top first and write our fortunes down. After we deal with your team on the other floors. Uh-huh, yeah. I'll get right on that, boss. If it's bad for you, then it's good for me. So yeah, we need to go to each of the areas of the casino and we need to deal with Dog, Christine, and um, Dean. We need to go to the Tampico Theater, we need to go to the Executive Suite, and we need to go to the kitchen. I understand going to the theater for Dean because he was a famous singer before the bombs fell, and Christine, I guess, because... Okay. Uh... Because, like, uh, Veronica. She's of no use to us. Can I talk, please? Thank you. Uh, Christine goes to, like, the sweets because she kind of does resemble someone who was important to the casino. But why did they put Dog into the kitchen? I guess because the eating stuff and, like, he's always hungry and. Ooh, uh, emergency maintenance key. I mean, I guess that could be. That's the most sense I could find. Ah, man. Really? Can I please catch a break? Evidently not. Can I please get the chips? Thank you. Hi. Where? Please let me help us. If you don't, then you'll. Back in the cage. Of course. Stop what you're doing. We can can hear you now. Not I don't know. He's slipping. Not I can see it, of course. Listening to me. Oh, there you are. Off with you. So yeah, Dog's actually starting to try and is fighting it back against God, and he's trying to break out of the, reason the cage and stuff. Love Set Sail by Shane Velarek. Kind of looks like uh, Vincent Price right there. Help us. Please let me help us. If you don't, then you're... So yeah, they're gonna be arguing for quite a while, or until Dog blows blows the whole casino to hell. I would just like to know how the hell am I supposed to get in there? Well, let's see. What does this say? Sierra Madre lobby. Then another way to get in there. Listening to me. Tired of being your minder. Tired of putting Dog to sleep. Oh, good, I could drink out of the urinals. Just what I've always wanted to do. Listen to me. If you, you do this, we both die. Dog wants to die. Don't care anymore. Tired of How am I supposed to get in there again? I guess the key would 
Yeah, doesn't look like there's anything else in here for us, so let's head back to the lobby. Maybe there's an alternate path that we could take. Oh yeah, that's right, we need to go back to the casino and then there's like a back way we can get into to get where Dog and God are. Hopefully they'll just stand there arguing for all eternity until I can finally make my way over there. I always thought it was lighter back here. Oh yeah, the keys back for back there. All right, let's get a move on. Oh, bartender, your strongest drink, please. Let's see, energy cell, junk food, free war money, scotch, stim pack. Mm. I'll take the stim pack and the energy cell. Coffee mug. You have the coffee mug. And keep that a Brexel cleaner. And take the syringe, the forceps, the hot plate, because I thought they were useful, but they're not. I need 137. That's going to take forever. Is there a faster way to do this? Actually, yes, there is. Do I have any excess junk that I really don't need? I'm gonna cry for bear trap fist, bear trap fist. Uh, dynamite. You can take the dynamite. I have no use for it. And the detonator. <sighs> and the police baton. There. I have no use for that stuff. But I do have some use for these chips. Casino security passcode. That would have been useful. Alright. Let's try this again. Use the emergency maintenance key to enter the kitchen. Let's try and stub dog and god before they blow this whole place to hell. Or he sets off his collar. The casino's going to burn. Us along with him. Turn off the gas valves so that idiot kill us all. Dog? No. God. You? Nope. Master. No, not Master. Dog remembers you. Left Dog in cage. Mean to Dog. Now Dog. <sighs> Will kill us both unless you do something. Never felt him so strong before. He won't listen to my voice. He's... He's... Hungry. Come here or Dog will chase you. Break you until you no run anymore. Dog, stay. If you don't, Master will be mad. Master? Don't want Master to be mad. What does Master want Dog to... Uh, listen to you. Can't hold him back much longer. Tell him to pull on his chain as hard as... Dog can. What Master wants, Dog can do. Please don't be mad with Dog. Dog, the Master sent me. He can he commands you to listen to my voice now. Or Master needs you to pull, pull. Basically, that's us just telling Dog to kill himself. Listen to my Master. voice, Dog. Master, Dog. Dog is listening. Both of us are. Tell him to listen to me. Then we can get out of this. Finally. And now Dog is listening to voice. Your voice only. I kind of feel bad for him. So I'd now go to sleep, let him out, take chain around your neck, and basically kill yourself, or do we want God back in full control? But there's a third option. A way we can basically quell the violence between us two for good. Imagine the voice, not as a voice, but as water. Look at the voice now. What do dog you see? Dog can see the voice. Looks just like dog. And dog looks just like. You've hurt yourself inside. Do you see now? See? 
in the water. Dog understands now. Dog knows what happened. Do you know what happens if you step into the water, dog? If dog... If dog goes into the water, dog can't help if master gets mad. You were nice to dog. Dog wants to help. He's right. If you merge us, then I... We... Or whatever we become... We can't help you when you reach whatever's at the Sierra Madre's end. And Dog... Dog doesn't want to unremember you. May forget you. We will forget almost all that has happened here. You'll be alone. At the old man's mercy. Like Dog. Like me. Eh, I'm used to crushing loneliness. Not having your help doesn't matter if this heals you. Dog understands. Dog has done bad things. Knows why voice was furious with him. Tired of the anger. Thank you, Courier. Even if it's only for minutes before the Sierra Madre kills us all, then Dog hopes you find a way to save self like you help Dog. And when you meet him, find a way to save yourself as you try to save us. Otherwise, I'll be upset with you. I came this far. I'll manage. Go on. Let's go. You were there all the time. All the time. You were there. And so close. Together. Uh, dog? Who... Who are you? What is this place? Uh, it'd take too long to explain. Uh, actually, here's the abridged version. We're trapped in a casino in a poisonous city. That... That was not the answer I was expecting. I don't know you, yet I feel like I do, and a feeling of... gratitude. I... Forgive me, I... I'm wounded. This chain, this bear trap on my arm. How did I even get this far with these wounds? The pain is excruciating. I... I need to rest for a moment. Go on and rest. I'll take care of something. I Well, I have to take care of something. <sighs> Thank you. For whatever you have done. I will remain here. Need to get my strength back. So with that, we save Dog and God. Uh, however, doing so, we basically, you know, we merge them together and they no longer exist. Also, I am dying of a gas thing. Where's the other gas valve at? I'm tired of dying. If you ain't dying, you ain't trying. Also, how does this place not have gone up with that hot plate running right there? Ah, there it is. There we go. Nope, still not good enough. Where's that last gap spell that? Oh, wait. I saw a workbench. Now I just need to find the gas valve. But seriously, where is it? This is uh, Casimir Terminal. Shop Manager Desk. Ah, fixing things, frag grenades, locks of computer, and chips. Alright, well, that's kind of good. Where's this gas valve at? Ah, there it is. Ah, much better. And finally, we found the elusive workbench. It only took us forever. Alright, let's see what we can make. Well, actually, we can make a, quite a lot of things. Uh, we can make some clean cosmic knives. Six to be exact. And that's what I'm going to do. Now, with making those clean cosmic knives, if we go back to weapons, uh, we can make a cosmic knife spear. We need three abrexo cleaner and some duct tape. Soccer. There's the duct tape. Hammer, lunchbox, scrap metal, zero monitor chip. Of course. 
always has to come back to the Abrexo Cleaner. The elusive, elusive Abrexo Cleaner. It's gonna be, I uh, just find a mop and then just, like, tie it to the end. Of course not. But we did save Dog and God. Sadly, they're no longer with us. Well, they kind of are, but not as the same person as they were at the start of this adventure. But we saved them from themselves. They're no longer going to be fighting, and also they're... They're at peace now. And that's truly what matters. Probably shouldn't have cleaned all those cosmic knives. But I might as well show off what a clean version of the cosmic knife looks like. Here we go. Very, very shiny. Even like dark areas, it is super shiny. Wow, wow, is this thing shiny. And now, if we take this clean cosmic knife over to the electric hot plate and go over to. What was it? Hey, it wasn't an aid. Uh, where's all the stuff? Recipes. Pair, call kiss, call kiss. Huh. There should be an alternate version of the cosmic knife we can use. Weapons, cosmic knives, cosmic knife spear. Huh, that is weird. Do I need more Brexo Cleaner to get the other version of the cosmic knife? The third version? And I guess fourth if you'd count the the non clean version. It looks like it. Recipes. Ooh, chems aid. Huh. I'll have I'll have to look that up later. But I also have to keep my eye out for more Brexo cleaner. Doors for Ancasia. Well, I mean, it's right along. It will no longer open from the inside unless the gas valves are shut off. And the gas valves are indeed shut off. And check it out, it's back where we first heard from them. And more chips. Also, one that apparently Mexican jumping chips. So that's Dog God. You've got dog one of the floors reestablished. Good. Accessing the music archives now. Two more to go. Oh, it seems the casino has uninvited guests. The villa inhabitants was pounding at the doors. Now they found a way inside. Deal with them, and don't try and leave yourself, or I'll let the caller do its work. Yeah, if you thought you were done with the ghost people, this game likes to, you know, pull the rug from out from underneath you. Also, that did not hit. That is bullshit. Where's the other one at? I think it's up on the second floor. Yeah, there he is. Oh, there's two of them up there. Oh, God! Alright. Of course you know. This means war. I was kidding about war. I got a bear fist. I don't know what happened there, but it was pretty awesome. Man, I love this thing. It's just so ridiculous of how I'm able to kill these guys. Wait, can I actually have the option of walking out the door? No, of course not. That was a hollow threat if ever there was one. Alright, so we all we gotta do is now deal with Dean and Christine. And they're gonna go right in again. And we can actually de deal with them in any order. But I feel like we should deal with Dean second. Mostly because Christine actually has a location that we need to go pretty much directly to after we deal with her. So it makes the most sense to go with Dean first. And this is where the whole, if you prove that you were too smart for Dean's own good, this is where it comes to bite you in the ass. And you've shown him that you weren't going to be loyal to him and you were... You made him think that you were going to be working a different angle than he was.
In person, Dean Domino, the King of Swing, and his great orchestra. You must feel right at home. In person, Joey Baxter, sensational... I can't read that because it's too dark and muddled. Huh, that kind of looks like uh, something you see out of Bioshock. Ooh, some money. I'll just take all that. And a front desk terminal. Consist! That consisted of the correct password. Let's see. Show list, any performance protocols, serial library, marker, security code. Put your message for mix, E signs. I'll be right there, Eve. Just hide until I get there. Do whatever you need to do. Understand? I'm not going to let anything happen to you. Everything exploded, there's smoke, holograms are firing at people. You can't get out, John, please. Performance protocols. Uh, let's see, doors, stage opens. Uh, so, yeah, it's just a lot of stuff. But basically, it was just. That was a little bit of story, and also we got security codes. So, basically, that the, it told us the security holograms killed everyone here. Oh, hey, there's a mini machine over here. Hey, come on! Oh, you're behind this door. And of course you're shielded. And that's an accessible figures. Oh my God. You're not shielded. Go away. Ah. Ah. Finally safe. You know, knock on wood. What's this? Uh, Vera's Partisans. Key slides out of Vera's Partisans. Finally, a friendly face. Hey, partner, up here. The in a bit of a predicament here. Had to duck backstage, take a powder. The audience is a little murderous tonight. I know, right? These show gigs are really killer. How'd you get up there? No idea. Woke up here, thought I was dreaming for a second. Right back on the stage, the mic. Thought I was back at the fronds. Well, except no audience used to pack theaters back then. So, stepped up on the stage, checked things out. Then suddenly, holograms walked out of the wings. They started raising their hands to their heads, all creepy-like. Not a good sign. So they put their hands in the air and started waving them like they just don't care? Wait, what holograms? What are you talking about? Look, those ghosts are going to come out of the wings behind you in a second. The security types, not the friendly, bald types. And if you got in here, the door's probably locked tight behind you, so... Don't back up or run for the exit. You're not going to make it. Trust me. As soon as you can, run to the door to the left. Use the key you got out of the music rag there and camp out. As bad as things are, it's going to get a lot worse if either of us pops. So get backstage. Until we get a better plan. Wait, do I need to head to the door on my left or your left? What? Oh, uh, my left. Your right. So, yeah, run to the door on your right. <laughs> Almost got you killed there. Us killed there. Dean, the theater speakers are wired to central sound system, right? Oh, we got, we got three choices. Game backstage is a temporary measure if I can't find a security terminal. I need a little more than that to go on if I able to break out of here. If we're able to break out of here, eh. can't find the security terminal. That sounds like the most logical thing to say. Yeah, yeah, right. So let's see. Security's here because the show hasn't started. Guests aren't allowed in, so guess we need to start the show. <clears throat> okay. So when they were setting this place up, we had rehearsals. 
And uh, <laughs> Sinclair even set up hologram recordings of the shows so we could watch and critique our performances before a fake audience. Whatever. Thing is, when the recording queued up, a nice, calm, appreciative audience appeared in the theater. No security with their head blasting zap rays. So find the music, get it to the projector room upstairs, then play it. Might reset security with a shot. I need a little more to, lo little more to go on if, if we're going to break out of here. Uh, right. Uh, let's see. When you get the door open, there'll be an exit door dead ahead. Don't take it. It's most likely filled with toxins from the vents, so hug the wall. Make as much space between you and the door, or it's cloud nine in a casket. Past that is my dressing room. Under the table, there's a footlocker. It's tucked back a bit, so you might miss it. Inside, a gun some ammo not much help against the ghost still if you're about to give up call it quits throw it to me so I can eat a bullet first well I mean there's ghosts in another sort of sense already in the casino so they could help me what's it just thinking nine millimeter Dean the theater speakers are wired to the central sound system right yeah y yeah so what we got bigger problems with the holograms no, uh, no, wait, you're right. The theater piped music and sound backstage, which means those little squealers are in the corridors back there, too. All right, calm down and think. Do you know specifically where? Uh, let's see. Um, once you break right, watch each turn in the corridor. One will be on your right, past my dressing room, and up. Oh, uh, my dressing room. May have left the radio on right by the table. Uh, if you could just shut it off instead of blowing it up. Uh, never mind. And there was a speaker in the prop room, too, on the wall between the entrances. And, well, walk slow. There's bound to be more. Yeah, I don't think moving slow when those speakers are around is the wisest choice to make. Uh, radios and speakers. What about the central sound system? The speakers are all controlled by a central console. It's the farthest from the only door out of here, so you'd need to do a full circuit of the corridor to get to it. Once there, you'll need to shut it down, and I don't have the code. If you I have the code, I got you can it. turn off all the speakers. Make them settle down. Getting backstage should buy us time. Just take it slow. Since the security system is pissing me off. You are preaching to the choir. Sinclair and his security uh, don't even get me started. Those holograms. Look, just get rid of them, all right? Tried to slip off stage, then they all started changing color and raising their hands. Not a good sign. All right, time to run. Why? Because here come the holograms. I think... Yeah, there, there's more than two. Thankfully. Shutting the door behind us. Very controls to get, uh, Repair 100 required. Well, I think I have something that can up that repair. I didn't even think that there was anything that needed a 100 repair to even you do. Let's see. Critical chant. Huh. Medicine... Bad sneak. Come on, there had to be something I had to repair up. Science. Lock pick. There you are. Fixing things and breaking things. Well, that took care of one of those guys. Oop. Alright. Do not take that door. Oh shit. Nope! Oh. That was close. Alright. So it's not in that dressing room, so it's gotta be in a room after it. There you are. I 
Ah, uh, thought you could outsmart me, huh? And this appears to be Dean's dressing room. Dean's safe. I'm sure you won't mind if I take a peek inside. Maybe something of value that can help us. Come on. Come on. There we go. The Domino's blackmail tape. Doctor's bag. A police pistol. Hmm. Bear's backstage key. And the gun case. And it, well, it's not a 9mm, so I can't fault him for that. Yeah, actually, a pretty nice little uh, dressing room he's got here. I'll take a pre-war ball cap, why not? Alrighty then, so let's... Why don't we take a look at that blackmail, see what, what that's all about. Dean Domino's blackmail evidence. Pretty as a picture. Alright. Don't know what that has to do with anything. Where is it? Where is it? There you are! Nope. Nope! There we go. Uh, this must be the prop room. That is definitely a door not to go near. Eh, uh, of course. I guess it's seeping through the door and not, like, through the vent. Even though it would make more sense for it to be, like, near the vent. Again! Back, 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 back! Oh shit! Ah. Power off the ambient audio system! Why would you lock a medical case? That just seems stupid. Uh, Dean Domino saw her yesterday. So this contains Dean Domino's melody, saw her yesterday. Alright. And here's Master Key. And meeting people. Vera's got an even more impressive dressing room. Wait, what's that in there? Uh, nothing there. Anything in the suitcase? Nope. Let's see, that's the backstage door. And that's the stage door. Backstage it is. That's not the backstage. Wait, wait. is this the way I do need to go? Oh yeah, I need to get up there. Of course, these guys aren't going to make it easy. Wait. There was two of these guys. Where's the other one at? Oh, he's on the stage. Alright, wait for him to turn his back. Hopefully he will not put his hands in the air and wave him like he just doesn't care. Wait for it. Yep! I'm one of you guys. Please do not try and murder me. I've got a Tales of Chivalry. Hollow tape projectors, play hollow tapes. What would you like to do? Let us play Dean Domino's hollow tape. I saw her yesterday. And there goes the copyright. Well, say goodbye to this video, ladies and gentlemen. I'll just be lying congressional style. Dean, you sound a whole lot different in this. And in this thing than you do right now. Must have been all the radiation that made your voice like that. Alright. Now, deal with the ghoul. This has gone on long enough. Hey, uh, Dean. Ah, there we go. Oh, those electric ghosts aren't the kind of audience I like at the best of times.
At least the ones in the villa had manners. Don't even know how I ended up here. Guess the casino still recognizes guests, even after all this time, huh? <laughs> How's that for history? Oh, lucky us. Love getting shot by pre-war ghosts. Look, I'm more about the short goodbyes than long, thankful speeches. But I appreciate you bailing me out of a tight spot there, partner. I know you didn't do it out of the goodness of your heart. So let me give you something a little more practical. A way we both come out ahead. Yeah, uh, what do you mean? I'm not an idiot. I know the reason I'm in here now is because of the old guy. And you. And you're wearing a collar, so I trust you a little more than the old guy. He's more controlling than I'd like. Thing is, here's where being my partner pays off. See, I know how to get into the casino vault. What do you mean? There's a private elevator, Sinclair's elevator. It's up in the executive suites in Vera's room. Not a coincidence. Vera. She was my other partner before the bomb. Took some legwork. Some convincing made it happen. How so? Sinclair was already puppy-eyed, so all I had to do was the introductions. She smiled. Fluttered her eyes, showed a little leg, and he built this whole place for her. Made her the key to his vault, like a joke, cause of her name. Her fake Hollywood name. Except Sinclair didn't know I'd been there first. I could twist her whatever direction I wanted. Go on. All she had to do was get inside the Sierra Madre for the gala, then use her voice to open the door. After that, smooth sailing would have been the biggest heist in history. Sinclair left holding the bag, ruined. So, what happened? The bomb. Vera got sealed in here. A few hundred years go by, give or take. Almost the end of the story. Then you came along. Now we finish the job. Rob the Sierra Madre, rip out its heart. Last chapter of Frederick Sinclair. Close the book. What was your problem with Sinclair? Problem? All high and mighty. Lording it over everyone. Acting so self-righteous, like nothing could touch him. He was the one with the problem. Never got mad at anything, nothing seemed to shake him. Even after his life kept getting dragged through the dirt. Always kept looking for the bright, shining future in everything. So... I decided to take everything from him. But what did he do to you? Do to me? What, weren't you listening? He thought he was better than me. Don't believe me? Look around. This big casino. This big colossal monument. Think it was for some woman? No. All ego, all self-righteous in lights, fit him perfect. Had to take him down a few pegs, bring him down to my level. Begin again? Some things you don't get up from. I was going to prove it. So you're going to prove it now? How? I didn't know at first. Then the old man showed up. You showed up. Then that woman showed up, covered in scars. 
The one who makes all the hand signs, a little tight around the corners of her mouth. I put her in the clinic, tuned her like an instrument. If she heals up, it's not going to be her voice speaking anymore. That is, if the Sierra Madre didn't get her. If it did, well, there's enough of Vera around for me to spend a few years piecing a book together. And if she's alive? Then she can make some beautiful music. I'm not banking on it. So here's the short of it. Piece together Little Miss Vera Key's song in the right order. Sierra Madre opens its legs when in business. All right, I'll head out and see what I can do on my end. Go, knock yourself out. I'm just going to catch my breath a bit. That performance, well, more pressure than I was expecting. You know, I gotta admit, uh, the lighting and Dean's voice actor, and just like the whole setting here, that was pretty spot on. Not going to be performing here again, that's for sure. This place is a dump. Lousy. Well, Dean, I know a nice little place called Vegas you could probably perform at. Huh, not a bad place up here. Ooh, what do we have over here? A playing card. Uh, too bad I'm not gonna get all the playing cards. Oh well. Aw, oh, darn. I'll just take everything that's in there, take everything that's in here, and take everything that is in here. Man, you'd think a safe on the floor would be one of the more secure safe safes because it's like out in the public and easy to get into. But nope, just an easy lockpick. Nothing here. Let us get the hell out of this place. We only have one place left to go. We gotta go deal with Veronica and... According to the uh, Dini old boy, she should be singing a different tune. So yeah, Dean's kind of sort of not I almost have the, the entirety of what I need from the music archives. Once you have the last fragment, you can thread the archives together at the main floor terminal. As I was saying, Dean's not really the best guy out there. He's he's very manipulative. This whole thing was just basically out of spite for Sinclair, the guy who made this whole place. Because he thought he was better than... Because he thought that Sinclair thought he was better than him. And I will admit, as much as I don't like the DLC for technical standpoints and all that stuff, you know, all the bear traps and the ow, and the the radios can go, go to hell, story-wise, this is actually really good. So, even though I personally don't like it, I still feel like people should get it just to experience the story for themselves. They'll really enjoy it. If they can get past the technical aspects. There we go. Hey, where, where's the other one? Listen, I know you're a mindless killer, but man, you're AI. Darn it! My one true weakness! A lighting fixture! Where's he like going? He's going to come up and kick my ass. That is what. Take that, foot loose. What's back here? Is there anything of value? I don't have a key. And I really, yeah, this is just the bathroom. All that's left is C Christine, so let's head up to the suites. Find the mutant, deal with her. She's somewhere on this floor. Floors buzzing with emitter signatures. Watch out for holograms. It's who I think it is. This is Christine. Recovered. In what looks like an old world hotel room. High class. 
two rooms. Exit sealed. All doors are locked down. Security's activated. And emitter signals are lighting up all over this floor. I'll do what I can from here. Floor's got holographic security. Not latest tech. Field of view targeting systems. Primitive. Familiar. Floor Bailey, is that you? What are you doing inside the Sierra Madre? Should you be with Joy Baker working on some new project? Nope, for a second, I, the, the way that Cloud was there and like shaping with this rubble, I honestly thought that there was so, like someone standing right there. It kind of looked like it. This also kind of reminded me of that one level from like Condemned 2. God, there's a game that I never thought I would reference. It kind of, it, for people who played it, it kind of reminds them of it, right? You can see it. You know, you just need a lot of crazy naked homeless people running around trying to kill you. And I, I guess the ghost people would have to suffice. I mean, they're already crazy and homeless. Not so sure about the nakedness, though. Now, the hologram over there. It may not look like it. But that is a security hologram. And it will kick your ass. I just want to go through here and see if there's anything of value. Grab anything that's not nailed, eh, not nailed down. Is it coming back? Uh, got a few more minutes. I've got no more minutes. break in here if we didn't have the lockpick for it then I would have to be running while I'm being shot at coming back okay good thankfully lockpick at, is at a hundred which is one of the main reasons why I want to get it the, the main main reason was to get the Gobi camp damn it the Gobi campaign scout rifle where are you hiding here it's somewhere oh wait I think I saw it Nope, that was just a light fixture. Use this way. Or not. I hate this mechanic. I'll set that cloud though. Uh, destroy! Uh, cookery? Yeah. History? Figures that, like, history repeating itself over and over again. You know, begin again. Disable hallway loudspeakers. Thank you! Download Scarlet Hol Holotape Code Snippets. Download Recipe. There it is! That's the superheated knife. One cosmic knife. One piece of shit, cosmic piece of shit knife, one pilot light, one hot plate. So actually the hot plate did have a use. I thought it did, and the better part of me... Oh wait, would it, would it be the electric hot plate? Oh come on, I just... Oh wait, it was just a radio on its own. So, I guess I did need uh, the recipe for the cosmic knife superheated. What's over here? Emergency network terminal. Emergency door seals, emergency door seals released, notes on emergency protocols. We've been reading this over in the event of a fire, chemical... Uh, okay, that's the exact same thing as I read earlier. Abrexo! Let's hit the police pistol as well. But more importantly, Abrexo! Lots of Abrexo! So much Abrexo! I could possibly go back down to the kitchen and... Oh, no I don't, I can just go right here. All right, let's make ourselves a cosmic knife spear. It is clean, nice and clean. Much better than the standardized version of the knife spear, which I probably should grab before I leave the this area. Eh, I got the better version. Plus, it, it physically it doesn't look any different. It's just a much stronger version of the standardized knife spear. I wish it would have just given it the nice shimmering effect. Like the standardized clean not cosmic knives do. 
kind of a kind of a disappointment. I yeah, got the duct tape, hot plate, with a pilot light. I think I have the recipe in my miscellaneous now. Alright, uh, with this other day, one, one, one pilot light, one hot plate, something to hold every damn thing. Cooking event, preheat oven to 450 degrees, take one knife, leave it in the stove. Let simmer for five minutes, wash a knife, glow red hot, put knife on table, melts tables. Sue scientist who made damn thing, give it to the military? And profit? Alright, where's that pilot light at? Sensor module, bobby, ooh, bobby pins. Come on, there's a shelf full of junk here and not one pilot light. Oh, there it is. Can I make it here? No. Yeah, that's what I need the, like, the hot plate cookery thing for. Of course. Oh, there it was. Or was it? I don't know. Oh, wait. I think I know where that thing is. I can hear it. Alright. Hold my beer. I need to test something. Do I have a grenade? I got too many police pistols on me. Very nice beer. Do I have? Yeah, I got I got twelve grenades on me. Burn a hole. Uh oh. <laughs> Think that worked a little too well. But thankfully, it took care of the speaker wherever the hell it was. I would actually like to know where the hell it was. And I would not like to get stuck. Thank you. All right, just sleep it off. Ah, well, the world may never know. Let's see. Can't do anything in there. Can't do anything there, and I need a key, which is right here. Nope, wrong way. And right way. Nope, still the wrong way. Yes, it is back this way. Hello? Oh, God. I, I didn't mean to disturb you, miss. Hmm. Ooh. Security lockers. Police baton, police pistol. No! Ah, there's the standardized Sierra Madre armor. And more of the armor. Security locker, take the bobby pins. Security control panel. Connects! No. I'm gonna laugh if problems is actually the password. Ha! Ah! Of course it would be. Unlock the security closet. Recalibrate hologram IFF. Well, I don't believe the security holograms will shoot me now. Also, we get some reinforced armor. We get a lever action shotgun, so we finally got a shotgun to use. Energy cell. Fusion cell. Okay, here. Bathroom. And now I'm gonna test something. But before we do that, why don't we fix some of the things we, that we got? Eh, you know what? I can do it later. Yeah, the holograms will not shoot at me now. Which means it should be a smooth sailing to wherever Christine is. Unless the radio is in the way. Hello, anyone home? You 
made it. Good. Just to talk. I'll keep this quick in case my voice goes out. You sound like the woman in the Scarlet Sierra Madre broadcast. Do I? Sounds off to my ears. Hard to tell. Not to mention it. It hurts like hell to swallow. Might be why I got moved off to this suite. It's hers. That's her over there. Got trapped by security like I did. Just took a different way out. Now that you got your voice back, what did you want to say? I've been hunting the one who hijacked your pit boy, Elijah, for some time. He cannot leave the Sierra Madre alive. What he's done? What he's done here is nothing compared to what he's done in the past. The only way to bring him out is if you get to the vault. He won't allow you to go down there alone. That's when we kill him. Alright, sorry for the slight little shift right there. I had something come up. A little fuzzy buddy wanted to come into the recording area and wanted me to pet him. And now he's just sitting over there looking at me. Kind of creeping me out. What are you doing over there? Alright. How long have you been hunting him? Too long. Thought I might have had a chance to settle it before this event happened. But then the chance slipped away again. Settle it? You're here to kill him? Those are my orders. I've seen what he's done, and I believe in those orders. Yeah, it sounds personal. He cut me off from someone I cared about a long time ago. He used his status to break us apart. So I had to find a new purpose. Same banner. Then he became unstable. Left a trail of crimes across the wasteland. Once word reached us, I was ordered to kill him. He said he knew you. He saw me before the scars at a place far from here. It's where he found some of the technology he uses now. It's a place called the Big Empty. The name's deceptive if you know where to look. Almost got trapped there. There was someone else, though, who came along. Knew about Elijah. He knew Elijah? How? No idea. A courier. Wore an old world flag on his back. He was the one who pulled me out there. Told me where Elijah had gone. Helped me heal up. Listen to my story. He... Sympathized. Hmm. Sounds very... Ominous. Sympathized? Why? He said he understood what it meant to track someone who had such a impact on his past life. He said people were like couriers, sometimes never understanding the messages they brought. That's who he was hunting for. Some courier. You could have said something sooner. Wasn't sure until now I could trust you. Now I know. Look, when I woke up here, however that happened, I had this key on me. I think it belongs to her. Haven't had a chance to use it yet. Might open the dresser or the safe. Didn't have time to experiment with it before you arrived. Here you go. How did you get here from the gala event and onto this floor? The gala went off. The switching station opened up. Thought the screeching in the auto dock was bad. The station worse. Got outside, saw the light show, and it was enough to make me run to the casino. Also, it seemed like the lights and speakers were helping to guide me. Guess your master wanted a backup in case you died. As for being assigned to this floor, maybe it's because of my new voice. Your guess is as good as mine. Maybe it recognized me as a guest. Any chance he'll see reason? Try and reason with him, see what happens. He's so lost in his technology, I don't think he even understands why anymore. You could have said something sooner. Wasn't sure until now I could trust you. Now I know. What was that? I couldn't hear you. You got really muffled there. I guess your voice is starting to go out again. Does that auto dock work there? Yeah, it's still functional. A lot of garbage data on it. Its basic procedure should still work fine. Anything you can download off it? I can see. Check the route. Recent diagnostics. A lot of Medex was dispensed for Vera Keys. Guess that's her corpse there for certain. And why all those meds are scattered around in here. Here's the medical report. Looks like she had some sort of terminal condition. Diagnosis isn't conclusive. Must have been painful. 
I'm not even sure she knew if these medical reports are enough. She must have been numb most of the time. Well, I'm just glad you're safe. Hold up there. I'll take care of Elijah. Good luck. He's not an easy opponent. If I can, I'll help. Might be able to figure something out using the Sierra Madre's computer systems. Let go. Oh, how I wish I could. But this place won't let me. Ooh, some Avestine. And some Super Stim Packs. But yep, there's Vera, the person who Dean used to work with and also is kind of sort of the like focal point of the DLC. There's our desk, and more Super Stim Packs. Oh, we, we can loot her corpse with her dress. And before you ask, no, you cannot cross-dress in this game like Fallout 4. Instead of getting like a dress dress for the guys get a nicely tailored suit actually looks pretty badass I think it's just a recolor of like the the white glove society suit kind of look like a, a kind of look like a daft punk go into like a professional thing or, like go into like a music award or something Back that reinforced armor on. Nice. Here's dresser. Your keys audition. Would you stop? <laughs> Such a kidder. This is Vera Keys auditioning for Love Set Sail. God, this script. Don't get me wrong, I'm happy to have the. Is that a plane overhead? Those bombers are nothing but big hornets buzzing around the sky these days. Is it gone? Alright. This is Vera Keys auditioning for Love Set Sail. Malcolm, ever since our freighter went down, I feel like my heart's fallen to the bottom of the ocean along with my... Ugh. Along with my career. God. <laughs> alright, alright. Hmm. Sinclair access 301. Subject keys, Vera, condition terminal, Sinclair. There's not much more we can do for Miss Keys except keep her comfortable. Her exhaustion will persist as well as the insomnia. I recommend continued medics. Super stim treatments. It's not a valuable long term solution. The pain will persist and increase over time. And the degrees she currently is taken already carry on the risk of overdose. Based on discussion, I also fear allowing Miss Keys access to those can to those amounts of cans may lead to purposeful overdose and recommended psychiatric evaluation as well. Hmm. Kind of a tragic character she is. Download medical history. Yeah. Uh, do I have any crippled limbs? I don't think I have any crippled limbs. But I I'm already full of health, so there's no reason to get it. Uh, what else to get? Do, 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 do. Not really anything else. Oh, right, the big, the big book of science that I have. And lion congressional style. And the, the pointless lion congressional style. Where is that big book of science? Oh, Dean's electronics. And big book of science. There we go. Everything's now up by three. You're back. You sure you still want me here? Callers and all? No much for waiting around with a bomb around my neck. I have some questions I wanted to ask you. All right. I'm just glad I can answer you now. All right. I don't have any questions I want to ask you. Um, anything you can download off of it? Can you outdoc heal your scars? No. They run a lot deeper than that. While I was hunting Elijah in the Big Empty, he trapped me in one of those medical research centers buried there. It did something to my head, and I got off lucky. It's difficult enough to read now, and somehow the leap between what's in my head and words... It just ends up being a mishmash of symbols, not letters. I can still do math, formulas, equations. 
Writing poetry is out. Eh, I wasn't a big fan of poetry anyway. You said you got off lucky? Yeah. I saw records of other patients and what had been done to them. Some couldn't hear anything but static. Others just shivering wrecks. Never going back. And Elijah was on his way here, so I couldn't stop to see if it was something I could fix. If you can even fix what happened to me when they jabbed the electrodes into my skull and turned my head into a flashlight. Then I got here, and my voice got severed. Now I have a new one. Another thing Elijah has to answer for. So if your head's like a flashlight now, is it like if you blink and it's like your eyes turn to do like two headlights? Literal headlights? <laughs> Ow. Alright, I don't... Uh, can I... Okay, there we go. This is night, the scheming voice of the Brotherhood. The scheming voice. I will get into a bit of Christine's backstory that she kind of shared right now, but... It, it was a touch-and-go kind of thing. Ugh. Just open this, see what's in here. Medical supplies. Thank you. Nothing there. Oh, wait, well, no. Ah, cloud. Alright, now where is the way out of this place? We, we dealt with Christine, or, well, we didn't really deal with her, we just talked to her and got close enough that we could get out in the receptionist room in the lobby. The lobby should be right around the corner, man. It has been way too long since I have done this. Ah, there's the exit. And how much you want to bet three friends are probably going to be greeting me down here. You have the last ride. That's all I need. Oh, now I know so much. Go to the main lobby terminal for a good music sequence of the Sukatubi! the scribe counter I haven't actually there it is that's the scribe counter and then we take a look at the third person version of it come on punch me hit me yeah not that impressive not as impressive as the ranger takedown there are a lot more than three friends down here to do me Guys, multiply by like rabbits. My armor is low. What's my armor at? Body color. Ooh, Sierra Madre armor. Ah, there we go. Yeah, I guess I'll use a baseball cap and a hat. I don't need it. Come on. I don't have all day with this. I only have like a couple minutes. Alright, screw it. Bats. That's one. Come on. That's two. Where is that last one at? Or. Oh. Did I actually kill. And there's level 40. Man, why is my XP going up so fast? I never had it go up this fast before. Alright, well, we finally reached max level. Now, what's the last thing we're going to put stuff into? Of course, like I said, I was going to put unarmed up to 65. And also, I just put one up in the melee because not really anything else to put anything into. Plus, melee's kind of become a little bit useful. 
And I will be damned if I ever put anything in survival ever again. Plus, if I can ever find a wasteland survival guide, I can just up it to three, up it by three, and give it an even forty. And if I can ever find anything for melee weapons, I can up it by three and put it at an increment of five. So that's what I'm gonna do. Last perk of the game, man, it has been a long time coming. Well, let's take a look at the level forty perk that we got. Your knowledge of robotics components allows you to break them more easily and salvage your mechanical corpses. You have a 25% chance to score a critical hit against robots, and you also find a more useful component on robots you destroy. Uh, again, we haven't been really fighting a whole lot of robots in this. I know we're going to be fighting some robots in one of the upcoming DLCs, but... I honestly don't feel like it, it, it really, you know, warrants this perk. Especially at, like, max level. Oh wait, no. I'm not I'm not at max level yet. I still got ten more levels to go. I'm an idiot. I thought that it was it, level cap was like twenty or something. I don't know why I was thinking it was thirty thirty, forty. So yeah, we still got ways to go. I'm an idiot. I'm a complete and total idiot. Alright, so seeing as how we got a couple more levels to go before we hit max, I thought, yeah, you know what, let's go with cowboy. We just got a lever action shotgun. So now we do 25% more damage using any revolver, lever action firearm, dynamite, knife, or hatchet. We got knives on us and we got lever action, so I thought, you know what, this seems like the best perk to go on. I can hear another one of these ghost guys down here somewhere. Wait. I thought there was one, like, shambling his way over there. Nope, I found him. Where is that lever action shotgun at? There you are. Why don't we give reason to get in this perk? Hmm, not bad. Not bad at all. Man, 100 XP for killing that guy? No wonder I've been leveling it up so fast. These guys are like a good farm of XP. Is there one of you guys down here? I hope not. Activate holographic reader. Activate holographic security. Access music controls. Tree theater ambient track. Restaurant ambient track. Suites ambient track. There we go. Gain access to Sierra Madre vaults. But you know what? I feel like we're going to be doing that next time. We've come a long way. We've made it to Sierra Madre. We started the gala event. We we helped settle scores with both De with all three of Dean and Dog and to a degree Christine. We finally gave her a voice again. Next time on Fallout New Vegas, we're going to head back up into the suites, finally make our way to the vault, and hopefully deal with Elijah once and for all. See you guys next time. Later.